Well, good day, everybody. This is uh, Chris back again with The Ancient Scholar. But today I'm going to be talking about um, an inter interesting concept, and a few people, uh, several people have asked me about this, and um, the answers I've given I don't think have been satisfactorily, or they, they have been mathematically uh, correct, but I don't think that I've been able to explain this, this question or this concept in a way that is, is perhaps intuitive. And uh, so I've been obsessing over this for the last couple of days, and I think I've found a way to make this more of an intuitive um, concept to understand. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, attack it from, from, that, uh, from this intuitive angle that I've been thinking about. And, and, and the question uh, comes down to something like this. And occasionally we see this with, um, with ventilator management. Uh, you'll certainly see this with the high-frequency um, oscillatory ventilators, the 3100A and B uh, series of ventilators, where <clears throat> when we are setting our inspiratory time, what we'll do is we'll set a percentage instead of uh, perhaps a um, defined time. And uh, I'll just go ahead and give an example. Let's just say that we set our I time our eye time at uh, 33%. And uh, then there might be a question, well, if my eye time is set at 33%, what is my I to E ratio? And I think this really throws a lot of people for a loop because they just don't have a, an intuitive grasp of what, what is going on here. So the first question we have to ask is, well, what is this 33% referring to? Well, the 33%, the I time equaling 33%, is talking about 33% of the total cycle time. So what it is asking us to do is it's asking us to set our inspiratory time to 33% of our total cycle time. Now, that uh, maybe for some people, uh, the light came on and, and some people were immediately able to um, appreciate what it's asking and others not so much. So let's just go ahead and work through the, the logic here. And I think this is where uh, I can hopefully make this a bit more intuitive. So what I do is I go, okay, well, this is 33% of the total cycle time. And I think to myself, well... What is 33%? What is it as a fraction? If I were to turn this, because this is a percentage, and the decimal, if I were to make it uh, 0 0.33, and I just put a little line over there that that 3 just goes on ad infinitum, 0 0.3333333, and so on and so forth, and, and we just say 0 0.33 and make it simple. So that's in decimal form. What about in fraction form? If I were to turn this into a fraction, hopefully this would be pretty obvious that the fraction is one-third. So one-third equals 33%. And then I look at this and I go, okay, well, what we're actually doing here with this 33% business is I'm breaking, you guys can see this three here, I'm breaking my total cycle time into three parts. Okay? I'm breaking my total cycle time into three parts. One part, 33%, 33%, 33%. Okay? Those are my three parts. Part one, part two, part three. Okay? Hopefully everybody can appreciate that. Part one, part two, and part three. And then I go, well, my total cycle time is, is broken into three parts. One part must be my I time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these 33%, okay? And I'm gonna make that my I time. So one part, I, and what do I have left over? Well, I have these other two 33s left over. So two parts E. So my I to E ratio is one, there's my 133, to two whatever's left over for my E part. So 
hopefully that makes a little more intuitive sense. And um, one thing you can do is just turn this into a fraction, one third. You have three parts. I subtract the, the, the top from the bottom, and that gives me one to two. So I subtract this one to the three, what's left over is two, and that gives me an ID ratio of one to two. Let's go ahead and just try it with another percentage. Let's now say that my I time is 25%. So the decimal of 25 is 0 0.25, which is 1 fourth. That gives me an IE ratio of 1 to 1, sub or 4 subtract 1 is 3. 1 to 3. IE ratio. Because I'm breaking my total cycle time into four parts, one part, two part, three part, four part, I'm taking one part to be my I, and the other three parts that are left over becomes my E. And that is the IE ratio, one to three. Okay, let's just go ahead and do one more here. Let's just say that my I time is 50%. So the decimal is 0 0.5, and that gives me 1 half. Okay, so I have two parts. So my total, total, total cycle time, one part, two part. One part is my I. One subtract, or two subtract one is one, and that gives me a one to one. Let me go ahead and just make this a little less confusing there. So 1 to 2, 2 subtract 1 equals 1, gives me a 1 to 1 ratio.